Hey guys, this is Blue Hair K, and I'm going to show you a really neat exploit that's hot off the press. For this to work, you need an original 3DS, 3DS XL, or 2DS model, with your firmware up to version 9.4. I'm going to be using my old European 3DS XL, as I've recently upgraded to the new Nintendo 3DS via the Ambassador program. You'll also need your SD card with a file you can download from the internet. Google is your friend for this, please don't ask for links. On top of this, you'll also need any game from any region of your choosing. I'm showcasing Puyo Puyo Tetris for this demo. This has only been released in Japan, and I'm hoping Sega and the Tetris company bring it out to the West, because it is a miles better game than Tetris Ultimate. So what I'll do is I'll put the SD card into the SD card slot. It's a bit fiddly, so let's get that in. And after that, I'll put the game card into the card slot. Would help if I could get it in the right way, K-Bro. Okay, once that's done, power up your 3DS as normal. And from the home menu, select download play. Once you've selected download play, return to the home menu by pressing the home button. As you can see here, even though the Japanese game is inserted, the European firmware doesn't recognise it due to the systems being region locked. From here, I'll go to the internet browser, get that to load, and now that I'm in the internet browser, I'm going to go to this web page. Tap on URL, jump cut, just said no links. Once that's done, it'll head to the website and it'll say fail to load part of this page. We'll just sit back and wait a moment. The screen will black out as such, and you'll have a little bit of activity, as you see there. And Japanese text in all its glory. And there you have it. Puyo Puyo Tetris has booted up, loaded just fine. I can now play Puyo Puyo Tetris on my European 3DS. And as I said before, this works with every retail game from every region. No mods, no piracy. This is exactly what we as avid gamers want. Until Nintendo grows some common sense and unlocks our systems, of course. This method does not work with the new 3DS units, though hopefully it will once they're released in February. Give your thanks to Smealum and company. Yep, the same guys that worked on the Ninjax exploit. Of course, if you want to return to the home menu, don't use the home button or else the system locks up. Instead, press the power button and you can return to the home menu that way. Thanks for watching and happy gaming!